Hi everyone, welcome back. Jay Barino here, continuing Warcraft 3 The Frozen Throne on hard difficulty, second mission of the Alliance campaign, A Dark Covenant. The next day, at the Alliance base camp, Prince Kalthos and his men ready themselves to move out. Greetings, Prince Kael. I bring word from Grand Marshal Garethos. What news from the front? Apparently, the observatories you repaired detected a large undead force massing nearby. Lord Garethos has commanded that you crush the undead before they can march on Dalaran. That doesn't sound too difficult. Unfortunately, your forces may be a little thin. You see, Lord Garethos has also ordered that all foot soldiers, cavalry, and support teams report to the front lines immediately. You men, move out! This is preposterous. Am I to assault the undead with nothing but sticks and harsh language? The Grand Marshal has great confidence in your abilities. Be creative. Garethos. I'm starting to hate that man. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do yes, is try to move as many of these outer combat yeah. units to the far right as possible. Because if you move them out and they survive the initial assault, they'll just get freely transported to your middle base once the initial assault is over, and then you can use them for whatever you want. So we're gonna get some workers on lumber here. You know what, I'm also gonna build an extra worker at these outlying bases, because I think they can net us a little extra gold before it's too late. Okay, looking good. Now, one thing you'll notice here is all units are 3-3 three, three, and you have all upgrades available. Though we don't have access to certain units, particularly things that do siege damage and heavy ground units like knights. Uh, we are going to get Naga though and they will start at 3-3. Three, three. So we want to be as aggressive as possible. We want to use Dragonhawk Riders to use Cloud and then uh, Aerial Shackle on Frostworms. And then what I'm going to do at my middle base is just tower it up and try to hold out in my middle base with just some static defense and the units that get warped back to base. And then that'll be that. So let's just go ahead again and queue up all these towers. It's a lot, but I think it will be worthwhile. Again, just so that it's all self-sufficient. And there's really not much else I'm going to be needing to spend my money on. So I'm not even going to worry about it. So, one other thing I didn't notice until after I had finished Mission 1 when it occurred to me. I was like, oh, our inventory from the Sentinels campaign on Kale definitely did not carry over. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that sucks. I feel a little betrayed. But uh, it's okay. I understand. Uh, all those items that we had dropped off obviously didn't make that big of a difference. Otherwise, it might have been a, an actual problem. I'm going to build farms to block down here. And that's because a lot of the farms down here are going to be destroyed. I mean, all of them are, including the town hall. So we're going to need some additional... We're going to need some additional farms to ensure that we're uh, staying above supply blockage. Okay, all these are going to be... I think these two are going to be guard towers. This one can probably be a yeah, guard tower. We'll just make them all guard towers for now to defend against air attacks. And then maybe we'll get a cannon tower and an arcane tower mixed in there. Guard towers also have heavy armor, which means they don't take the extra damage from siege weapons. So that's pretty good to keep those in the front against uh, meat wagons. Our forces are under attack. Okay. Guard tower. And I'll make another farm up here to help me block. Are you stuck? How did that get approved? Yes, yes. He's stuck. Okay, well, I guess you're staying in there on auto attack. We'll build another worker. My people. And now we just have to wait for the next phase to start. And I'm going to try to be really aggressive. I think that'll be the key. I'll have it up in no time. Job's done. Okay, you're done with that. Go ahead and go ahead and make a farm here, please. How did that get my mom the job? There he goes. Okay. Guard tower there, and then we'll make probably just like two more in the middle here. One arcane tower and one cannon tower. <clears throat> That's the plan. Prince Kale, they've taken over our outlying bases. We're completely surrounded. Those bases are lost. We'll just have to improvise. Ishindandia, Prince Kale. We've come to join your fight against the vile dead. Greetings, Lady Vash. I would welcome your aid gladly, but the commander I serve does not approve of your kind. I do not see him here sharing your peril. Let me bolster your forces with my own. If not, you and your brethren will surely fall. What you say is true, but I... I accept your offer, Vash. Good. Let's get to it. 
should move. So um, let's give Vaj the claws. It shall be done. And then the what priests and Kale load into a boat. And then let's grab two Dragonhawk Riders to bring with us to use Cloud and Aerial Shackles where necessary. Vaj, get hotkeyed. Kale, well, you're in a boat. We'll hotkey you later. So let's take this group, and we're gonna move on down here. Let's Cloud and Cloud. And then we're gonna unload right here. Kale, you're hotkeyed. And then we've got this Royal Guard, which is fantastic, because who's got Crushing Wave now, assholes? It's me! Okay, blast them. Let's try to kill these um, gargoyles quickly. I'm going to turn these priests on inner fire real quick for the extra armor. Then go back to heal. Crushing wave again. And then just let's just throw down some uh, some flame strikes and hopefully not run all of our units directly through it. Okay, look out. I really don't want to lose these Naga Sirens. That would be great if we didn't, please. Okay, so with the priests here to heal us, I think we're in great shape. And we're just going to let this sort of play out. How are we doing back at home? Looks pretty acceptable here. Let's get um, an arcane tower and then a cannon tower. And then maybe we'll get some additional towers uh, up near the top. Again, I'm, I'm not going to skimp on towers. And then this, again, should take care of itself as we just wipe all this stuff out. What I'll do with Vaj is come break these crates and we can get this base set up sooner rather than later. I feel like I, I no, think no, green's no, moving no, out right that. now. Let's Let go ahead and just get these towers set up over here. Just gargoyles. Let them run into the towers. They're going to get smoked. Okay. You can cloud here at least. Of course, why, why did that one move over to cloud it instead of the one that was directly in range? I don't know. All right, Lady Vaj, pick up the gold and then the tiny castle. This will give us 12 extra supply as well. So let's get this started now. Yes, my Destroy the haunted gold mine so we can harvest from it as soon as possible. Okay, that all gets wiped out, and I think we'll. Well, I can't yet. I was gonna say I'll get some more dragonhawk riders. What is it? I sent something. Okay, lo lovely. So let's go ahead and poise ourselves to attack the next purple base. We're just gonna try to keep this roll on, just boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's get these workers right now, and then move up with the Dragonhawk Riders. We're gonna, again, lead with uh, Clouds, and then I think I'm gonna use our Healing Wards here. That should help. Okay, I'm gonna hotkey these guys too, so I can jump back where possible. Okay, so let's Cloud. And then everybody move on in. Yeah, priests sort of stay in the back if you can. Let's move in with Kale. You're the only thing that can do full damage against fortified armor, so please just auto attack. Just to get rid of this, please. And then let's go ahead and go inner fire. Blast here. And then... Yeah, all right, we already did that. Okay, priests, now go back to heal, please. And let's throw down a healing ward. We're losing... One of our Myrmidon is getting kind of low here. So we just back him up, and they should be fine. Myrmidon are all good. Let's try to get these guys up to the front. Someone... No, we're all good. Okay, keep it up. Keep pushing, and we got to get through this base. Slowly but surely. Okay, Sirens are still alive. Priests are all on heal, or should be. Yes, properly. Good. Let's move on in here. Cloud. And then we want to go for this with our Royal Guard. Because, again, siege damage. Good stuff. And let's start focusing down their production. Get rid of these crypts. Get rid of the spirit towers. Let's get everyone moved in just a little bit closer. And then we can use Kale to flame strike as well. All right, we're currently under attack at home. Let's go ahead and uh, shackle what we can. Good stuff. And again, I gotta keep an eye out that we're not just losing random stuff down at this attack either. So, shackle. Please. There you go. Good work. And then Naga Royal Guard come down here and hit this crypt. And then everybody just move in further into this base. We don't need to kill the slaughterhouse because it's not actively building anything. Kale and Vaj take this out. I think we're on a we're on a solid roll here. Let's cloud this building. Please. Hello? 
He must have been um, netted or something, because I don't know why he wasn't actively attacking. Okay, again, we want to move in with everybody. Flame strike here. Yeah, I think what's happening is our our birds are getting clout or are getting um, webbed, and then they can't get close enough to cast cloud. So here, now we're gonna go, yeah, kill these guys, and then we're gonna go straight for the hulls of the dead. Especially you, because you're the only one that does the full damage to it. Please, We've got an attack up here. Seems fine. Back up just a little bit to build more towers behind this. And I'll get more Dragonhawk Riders back here as well. Okay, this base seems gone. Let's go ahead and <coughs> build another worker here. And then we'll come over and set up our town hall over here momentarily. And then we'll take the Naga we'll get some creeps that are in the water. Before we proceed over to kill Orange. Good stuff. Okay, so we're going to go town hall here. Again, we want to let's just clean this up now. These attacks are pretty frequent that we're seeing here from green, but you can see that this is working out I think just fine. Here, turn this in, grab this farm. This is why we need more farms. They're building something out of the slaughterhouse. They might just trying to build be building more transports though. My people must be avenged. Okay, Naga. Lady Vaj, Sirens, I'm going to send you down here, and then Priests, oh, they all survived. We're going to send you back up over here to get back in a boat. Next step is going to be coming over here to clear out these trolls. There's some creeps over here, too. I don't know what they dropped, so I suppose we'll check that out on the way. So let's get in there. Where's my royal guard? You are exactly the person who needs to be coming along for this soiree. Dragonhawks just go home. Okay, we'll get this guy in the front. And this is Ancient Hydra. Sure, get in there. Stun him. Boom. Zap him. Boom. Got a point here. Probably had that sitting on her for too long. My people must be avenged. Okay, you come on over here, dude, because I guess we're going to kill these whatever creeps are over there next. Then we'll go over and kill the trolls on our middle island, then we're going to kill Orange. That's the plan, at least. All right, you're blocking our other Myrmidon, please. I don't even think they could attack this thing if they wanted to, though. There we go. Okay, you ladies, just be careful. I really don't want to lose you to this silly stuff here. Crushing wave! Okay, zap him. Good stuff. Now, we got something here. Tome of Agility, Mana Stone, Ring of Regen. All mediocre items, I think, for Vaj, except the Tome, of course. All right, come on over here. I sent something. I will not be trifled. They'll make it there eventually. How are we doing at home? This area looks You're fine. My calculations. Elf would have thought of and more farms. Better. So otherwise, again, we're going to get supply blocked. Looks like we're I'll just harvesting out this area. We could just turn these guys on auto repair for later. Like They're going to get picked off, but that should be I mean, at the end of the day. It's fine. Uh, let's grab an Arcane Sanctum at home. As you can see, we've got plenty of money now. And I really don't expect to need any other income on this map because we can finish it with pretty much what we've got. All right, this is a pretty big attack. The destroyers are immune to magic. But that's okay. I'm just going to make sure, again, we shackle the Frostworms. Job's done. A, an orange attack coming here, too. My people must okay, Kale and Naga. Hey, Sailor. And Vaj, just go and attack up? these creeps. I don't, I can't really pay attention Prepare to that right now. And then we want to shackle and shackle. Okay, good stuff. And then we can also get some additional dragon hawk riders. What's going on down here? Kalthos taking some damage. Give him one of these. Don't stand it. A rune of healing. Is that is that really it? Is there any other point to coming here? Because it's seeming like no. Right away. All right, priest, just get in the just get in the boat. Just get in the boat. Yeah, and that went fine. So we just kind of keep an eye out for every time we get attacked. But I think for the most part, we are in just absolutely fine shape. Let's move the naga up here. 
And then we'll unload Kale over here as well. I'm going to take this boat and preemptively move it all the way up here because we got to make the trek over to unload over at Orange next. You, I guess, can just stay there. That's fine. Okay, Naga Siren kind of stay in the back. Lead with the Royal Guard. What These guys are on heal. We gotta this again. This is like the perfect little attacking group, if you ask me, to just creep around the map. Crushing wave. I'm really excited that I have access to that now. Zap. Kalthos apparently did not deci decided he did not want to attack with this group. Keep going for the trolls. Okay. Oh no, we don't. No. 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 Stay in the back. Not worth losing those. Let's go siphon magic. Zap here. Zap here. Gonna move you away. I really don't want to just carelessly be losing Naga to these random creeps, but you know your boy's got to destroy everything. He's got to do it. Okay. Tome of Intelligence. Vaj. Let's use you to just break all the crates, and then we'll destroy all the huts. What's the whole attack, attack, attack. Attack, attack. What is this? Rune of Mana? Actually, that's pretty good, I think, for all my casters. That'll be worth it. Claws of Attack plus six. We'll put on Vaj. Mana Stone on Kale, probably better for the mana regen on him. Vaj, I think I just want a larger mana pool. Whereas Kale, I want more mana regen. And gold coins. Cool. Every little bit, I suppose. Very good. Okay, so now everybody make a run for up here to the boat. We're going to load up the units that can't swim, and then we're going straight for orange. This is one of those where it's like, the faster you can go, I think the better. Like, without a doubt, you want to just try to try to make this happen as soon as possible. So Priest and Kao run up here. And then all the Naga, we can just put you in the water. And then Dragonhawks. I suppose I should add another one to this group. We'll bring you up here as well for the cloud, and I can get some extra priests to just sit in my base. I'll have it up Everything's in no coming time. up Millhouse. More farms, please. Our will shall be done. Okay, nothing's gonna nothing's en route to my base right now that's gonna pick off this boat, is it? I think we're good. Okay, sirens, please stay in the back. What is it? Uh, okay, so let's... Cloud and cloud. All of you go and attack. Unload Kale and the priests in the back. You just attack the, the spirit tower first, please. And then I need Kale, Kale and, and Vaj specifically to attack um, these air units. I also have a... Uh, healing scroll, so we should be good on that front as well. Okay, let's go ahead and drop more flame strikes. We've got a recast cloud. What's going on here? This looks like a scary double attack. I don't like... Oh my god, he dropped in my... like, right on top of my towers. Sorceress, no! Well, um... Dragonhawk Riders just hit the meat wagons. I th honestly think my towers can handle the rest of this. We'll rebuild this stuff later. We don't have much time to focus on this. Let's throw a cloud down over there. I don't think we lost anything. I lost a priest. That's okay. In the grand scheme, I think that's okay. These attacks are large, but again, I can rebuild these towers. Let's get some additional workers to put on auto... <coughs> excuse me, auto repair. I like how they, they dropped right in that shitty little area. What a bunch of jerks. No, no, no. Not like that. Yes, yes. Neither do I'm on the job. Okay, looking good. Let's go ahead and attack up here. Then we got some creeps to the right to kill. Vengeance. I suppose I could do those later, though. I'm not really in a rush there. I'd rather get rid of Orange that much faster. Set up a forward base. Another tiny castle. Okay, we'll set that up here. Man, I feel like I'm just actively suppressing the urge to cough at all times. I hate it. I hate that feeling. 
It's just, again, allergies causing really bad sinus drainage, and then it settles in my chest. My upper respiratory area gets congested. I hate it. Where must okay, we fly? Move on up. And I can't neglect this. I have to continue to build these towers, and then you all go on auto repair. As long as this stuff gets repaired up in between each attack, I'm very confident we'll be absolutely fine. I'll have it up in no time. Okay, auto repair. One random meat wagon deciding to attack down there. That's odd. Here, go and kill that and then come back. Uh, it doesn't matter, though. Um, we're going to be able to finish this, and we won't need, again, extra income. We're going to be able to do it all with what we've got. So, let's go. We need to cloud here and aerial shackles, and then the rest of you move on in. And I am going to throw down a healing ward right here. Crushing wave, flame strike, zap them. Just keep shackling, please. They may get interrupted if they get pulled down with a net. If I had to guess. Okay, we gotta cloud this. It's their town hall doing a lot of damage. Zap. Here and here. That flame strike was unnecessary, but that's okay. Please. Cloud these things. Please. Okay, we'll get rid of this one very slowly. Again, the one that has enough mana is clouded right now. <laughs> or, uh, he's netted right now. Okay, good. So, get in there. And then we gotta kill the Acolytes so that they can't just constantly repair. Okay, I see green moving out next. You guys gotta attack these, please. Cloud again. Keep them clouded. I think I canceled this flame strike because I'm an idiot. Let's just destroy this black citadel and then this should be this should be it. We can just very slowly wipe out the remainder of orange now. I lost many priests, but not every priest. Again, this is all fine. That's all absolutely fine. Okay, I'll save my last healing ward, I guess. I'll pop my uh, healing scroll, though. Let's move on down here and destroy. Destroy. I'm gonna grab one extra worker, and then we're gonna come over here and build, I guess, another town hall. That might be a little superfluous. What I really need are just a bunch of... Um, what I really need are just a bunch of um, production structures on this side of the, the water. And while that's getting built, I can go and creep the remainder of the map, or most of it at least. My people must be avenged. Okay, let's clean up all of Orange. No reason to keep them alive after all this. My pleasure. I am getting some additional Dragonhawk riders, so every little bit. So that's hot key. These guys are hot keyed. What's the holdout? And we'll just go ahead and grab more workers to come over here to start building. Again, as I had mentioned. In fact, I can just pull off these guys to do it. You're interrupting my calculations. An elf would have thought of something better. And the faster we can get this set up, the better. So we go like two barracks, two arcane sanctums. I don't understand why they're. An elf would have thought of something better. I'm on the job. They were overlapping for some reason. Okay, so keep, again, wiping this out. We're not going to be able to destroy green with just this army. We're going to have to build some more stuff. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Okay, there we go. And clean this up. Good work. And then this is my new production. I've got plenty of cash. We're doing pretty good on time. Maybe could have been a little bit faster, but this is fine. And again, we got some... Some of that darned creeping to do, which is just so time-consuming and annoying. Okay, I'm not going to bring the dragon hawks with me. Just all the Naga. Kael'thas, our single priest. Let's come on over here. We'll kill these trolls. We've killed all the other creeps. We've got ogres down here. We've got a group of gnolls. Gnolls. And then whatever's down here, which we can kill after we've mostly wiped Job's out done. green. Job's done. I'll have it Job's up in done. no time. No, 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 not like that. Okay, when you're all done Let with that. Do so I think we're gonna need a lot of archers. Job's done. Priests. 
Spellbreakers. That should do it. You can see my other outlying bases are left alone. I'm not sure why they leave those ones alone, but I'm not going to complain. I'm very happy that they do. Don't lose Naga Sirens to trolls. They're very good units. Not worth just throwing them away. Let's flame strike over here. Okay, and let's move in over here. Take this stuff out. Crushing wave! Frostbolt the big one. Flame strike the big one. Zap the big one. It's it's just zap. It's not forked lightning. It's simply zap. Let me dispel this. I don't like that one bit. He dropped a pendant of energy. I think that's good for Vaj, like I had mentioned earlier. I want total mana on her, and I want mana regen on Kale. Destroy, destroy. Destroy. Is it time? Let's pick up this. Scroll of lesser, lesser Replenishment, I mean, sure. Guess I wouldn't complain. Destroy the crates. Destroy, destroy. What you got for me? I, I don't need these items, but I guess they'll be good for the next mission because it's a micro mission. I don't even think I have to pay attention to this anymore. It's fine. We'll bring those Dragonhawk Riders up to the front. Okay, and just get another round of priests. My people must be okay, let's move this whole group up to the upper left, because we're going to creep that. We picked everything up. Actually, well, let's kill the ogres first. What's the whole town is under siege. So we could be going for green now, because we're pretty much My maxed out. We just got to move up with the remainder of our Dragonhawk Riders. But instead, is we have the pleasure of having to just creep for silly units. But you know I'm going to do it. You know I have to do it. <coughs> It'll allow our priests and uh, spellbreakers to get a bunch of extra mana. So that'll be good. I'm getting a lot of extra priests here specifically because they can um, they can inner fire as well, which is a great buff. Um, some sorceresses would be nice, but at the end of the day, I think uh, this is fine. I haven't lost any Naga. We'll probably lose some in the final attack, but I'm okay with that. Crushing wave! I'm really excited about that spell now that I can actually use it. Okay, very nice. Destroy the tents, and then that. Replenishment potion. I just, again, this is stuff that I don't... Like, if this was worthwhile to go out of my way to get, like getting that agility tome on the bottom left, I'm all for it. But, like, this is all just silly stuff. The, <coughs> the replenishment scroll is the one thing that I can imagine being useful. But otherwise, probably none of the other stuff we picked up. Okay, so now we take this group, we're going to go to the upper left, and then we're going to attack green. Finally! Finally! Here, let's grab these Dragon Hawk Riders, they're coming too. I kind of want to wait for green to at least empty their base to come and attack me again, and then smash into my towers. So honestly, actually, there they go right now. So quick, let's take out the silly gnolls. What ails you? And like three of you priests can go on inner fire. Let's flame strike right here. Okay, cool. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Destroy, destroy, destroy. What do we got? Ring of superiority, plus one all stats. I guess I won't complain. That's not bad. Probably better on Vaj, but it's, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, whatever, whatever. I don't need this. I'm going to pick up the scroll of protection, and we're going to pop it when we go and attack green. So now is the time. We're in great shape. Let's take all of our... Dragonhawk Riders. Mm -hmm. Cloud and Cloud. Everybody attack. I've got a healing ward as well. Everybody go. Get in there. You all attack. Uh, scroller protection and then drop a healing ward. Uh, this is a little confusing to tell what's happening, but I think we're winning. And then aerial shackles. Turn on frost arrows, and then we're gonna. F <laughs> Our poor dragonhawk rider that's actually aerial shackling here is just getting absolutely obliterated. Um, I can mana drain here, I suppose. Let's just keep clouding the towers. The biggest issue, as I had mentioned, is the, a lack of siege damage, which is pretty rough. Um, what do we really need to push through this base? Maybe just more archers and swordsmen. Whatever, that's fine. 
Okay, and then let's move everyone into the base. I think that siege, I think that, um... That healing ward was pretty effective. Here, get a, a C elemental. Mmm! Okay, everybody move in. Just gotta very slowly wipe this base. We've got everything up until this point, ready to go. Let's rally up here. Archers go. And now we just have to meticulously destroy this base. And let's cloud anything that can shoot us. Okay, you know the drill, Naga Royal Guard. Just uh, focus a building while my other units support you in some way. Shackle here. Okay, good stuff. Dragonhawk Riders, very effective. Just go on heal right now. I am your servant. Keep our frontliners alive. Still waiting to very slowly kill this crypt. <laughs> These crypts. Vaj, just, just, just kill, kill this fool. Cloud and cloud. Once both the crypts are gone, I will feel so much better. What do you, what do you know? Aerial Shackle. Got him. Okay, and I don't want Dalvin Gerb coming back out, so let's hit this with the Naga Royal Guard. Then we'll go for the Black Citadel, and then I'll use my heroes to go and creep anything remaining. Okay, this base wasn't too bad. I mean, again, we had, like, an extremely strong composition of units, so... Like, of course it went well. Aerial Shackle. It keeps... You know, whichever one is casting Cloud, it changes whichever one is doing that. <laughs> like, it'll it'll stop casting Cloud to, to cast either Cloud somewhere else where I tell the group to, or I don't know. I'm not really sure what the issue is. Alright, kill these guys. Heroes, and then a couple Priests. You know the drill. We're gonna come on down here, and then we're gonna kill these creeps, and then we got one more group, and then that's the end of the map. So come on down here. And these units will just slowly do whatever they need to do. Okay. Knolls! Destroy them! Boom! You don't need a very large group to do this. This... Group is really only accessible, though, through the enemy base, which I think is odd. And what's the reward? A scroll of healing. What a treat. Well, Kale's got some slots now. I guess I could go pick up that, um, that healing pot on him. Okay, and then the rest of you come on down here. Kale, why don't you go pick up your, your potion of greater healing? Very good. Did I point out how um, this was supposed to be destroyed, but it wasn't? I don't honestly remember if I said that earlier or not, but if you rewind far enough back in the video near the beginning, you'll notice three green dots, which are dreadlords, go up to that as if to want to destroy it, and then they just turn around. And that's a broken trigger that's been broken for a very long time. Like, back when I played originally, a long time. Okay, let's kill these guys and see what we got. I didn't lose any Naga units this map. That's that's cool. That's good stuff. Break, 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 break. Rune of Greater Man is quite good. And that should be it in terms of loot. There was nothing down here, just a Rune of Mana. Okay, come on up here. we got to clean up these remainder buildings. Attack. Attack. And there's like two, u there's like two buildings left. Cool, this went quite well. And we did it in decent time also. Again, this could have gone even faster if I didn't bother creeping. I was a little intimidated by this mission, so I sort of devised a strategy before I started, and I gotta say, it worked really, really well. Uh, and this mission really didn't feel challenging at all. And I expected it would be. I think the key is just tower the crap out of your middle base, build your farms there, you know, maintain your castle so you keep that tech, and, you know, get having... Having plus three right from the beginning means go and attack. Just do it. And also kind of keeping those early units, I guess, is kind of an exploit. But having those early priests alive from the outlying bases to bring with your Naga group is fantastic. You have my thanks, lady. This victory would not have been possible without your aid. Though I fear I may have doomed myself by accepting it.
The human you serve trusts no race but his own. His sense of honor runs no deeper than his tolerance. It is loyalty and duty that bind me to him and to this failing alliance. But now those tenets seem as distant as our ruined homeland. All I know is that my brethren and I hunger for something more. Then perhaps, young Kale, it is time to find a new path to power and glory. I can't explain it exactly, but ever since our homeland was destroyed, my brethren and I have felt empty, almost drained of our spirit. There is a, a hunger now that has hardened our hearts. I know this hunger, Kale. Like us, your people are addicted to magic. It flowed through your veins for over 10,000 years. And now, with the corruption of your land and the Sunwell that empowered you... We have been cut off from our power, from our birthright. Without a new source of magic, our people will surely die. There are other fonts of power in this world, Kale. Demons, for instance. You speak of madness, my lady. We will never be that desperate. Your aversion is understandable, but still. Prince Kale, Grand Marshal Garethos has arrived. He has brought a full battalion with him. Damn, Bosh, you'd best leave. I cannot guarantee your people's safety. Naga warriors! Forget about them! So, Ken, you've shown your true colors at last. I knew you were in league with those serpents. Now I have all the proof I need to execute every traitorous one. Please, my lord, spare my men. It was my decision to... Save your breath. I never trusted you, vain, glorious elves. It was a mistake to accept you into the Alliance in the first place. Now, at long last, you'll be dealt with appropriately. Take them away! She creeping. Cool. That mission was actually quite fun. Again, it was one where I, ex I, I kind of went into it expecting it would probably be the hardest in this campaign, but that really wasn't too bad at all. We'll head into the dungeons of Dalaran next time. Thanks for watching. Bye now.